Hey, Homer Sports, Jacob Homer here. So yesterday, uh, there's some big news surrounding the Green Bay Packers. I wasn't able to make a video on it because I was at a Brewers game, which they lost 5 to nothing, unfortunately. But uh, the Green Bay Packers uh, yesterday signed former Jacksonville tight end Mercedes Lewis to the team. And uh, this was a very, very good move, I think. A very uh, a move that kind of flew under the radar, I think, and a, for a player that has flown under the radar the past few years. Um, Mercedes Lewis, if you don't know, he was a... He was a pretty good player in his prime. He had a season where he had 700 yards receiving and 10 touchdowns. He's been a always been a pretty big red zone threat. He's pretty tall. He's athletic. He can jump. Uh, so that's uh, so always made him a dangerous uh, red zone weapon. He hasn't. He's not really good at extending uh, or uh, breaking open the middle of the field. You know, uh, he's more of a guy who you just throw up 50-50 balls to. Uh, but. This is the big reason, I think, why the Packers signed Mercedes Lewis is because he can block. He's one of the best blocking tight ends in the NFL. He's a very big person. He's 6'6 and weighs 255 pounds. Uh, he's very athletic. Um, and as we know, Jimmy Graham really isn't that all that great of a blocking tight end. So uh, this move is uh, specifically to alleviate that while also adding a little bit of a red zone threat as well. Uh, because Richard Rodgers, obviously. I mean, Richard Rodgers, he can block, but, I mean, he's not the kind of blocker that Mercedes Lewis is, and he's not nearly the kind of receiver that Mercedes Lewis is. Now, Mercedes Lewis has kind of fallen off in recent years. I mean, he can still give you some touchdowns this year every once in a while, but uh, for the most part, he's not even getting to 30 receptions every year. So, uh, But, I mean, he's really not really being brought in to catch a bunch of passes. He's being brought in to block and to catch touchdowns, and that's what he's going to do in Green Bay. And uh, this is just the re most recent move in a series of moves that uh, for the Packers that has... Uh, that it's been like for guys who have kind of flown under the radar, who may be at the twilight of the career that in a new system, in a new environment, could thrive with a guy like Aaron Rodgers. We see it with Jimmy Graham, who even though uh, he was a big signing, uh, I mean, he's still a guy who seems to have seemed to lost a step in Seattle, you know, he hasn't, he's not, he hasn't been the player that he used to be, but maybe in Green Bay with a elite quarterback like Aaron Rodgers, he can revive his career, uh, and we see it with Mercedes Lewis, who hasn't been that good, uh, this past few years, he caught five touchdowns last year, but it was only 24 receptions, so maybe, uh, Aaron Rodgers can get more out of him as well, and then of course we had the Muhammad Wilkerson move, who's going to be coming in with the uh, his former defensive coordinator, who is now the new defensive coordinator, Mike Patin, uh, uh, and he maybe he'll have a chance to revive his career as well. He was a former All Pro, and he's one. He was one of the best defensive linemen in the game at his peak. So uh, this is just the latest move in that series of moves for like undervalued, underappreciated uh, players at the twilight twilight of their career. And I'm I'm really excited because I think Green Bay is the perfect environment for a player like that to succeed. And I'm really really excited to see what happens this season with Aaron Rodgers and those players. Uh, and I, I mean, I, I, it can't come any sooner, you know. I, it got, we're, we're still, I think, over a hundred days away. But I'm, I'm really excited for all of this, and uh, I really think the Packers have a serious chance at contending this year, as they do well every year with Aaron Rodgers. But I feel like the Packers actually are starting to put some pieces together, and I think that um, our new GM uh, Gutekunst has really. Uh, has really made some great moves this off season, and he's really setting us up not only for life with Rodgers, but life after Rodgers. I think with these new draft picks as well, with guys like Josh Jackson, Jair Alexander, the young wide receivers. Um, I think he realizes that Aaron Rodgers isn't going to be here forever, but at the same time, he realizes that we still have Aaron Rodgers and we still have chances to win championships. And I couldn't be happier with the way he's building the team right now. So, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So. Uh, see you guys next time.